Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you this quick video on how to utilize the Dynamic Blueprint and WordPress Latest Blueprint that uh, comes with Desktop Server Premium version 3.9.4 and above. Also, you can download these from GitHub if you like and use them within your Desktop Server Limited version. Uh, the purpose of this is to be able to download the latest version of WordPress and any plugins that might go along with it when you create a new site and uh, it's very simple it does require that you have an internet connection so that it can download the latest versions and uh, I'm going to show you really quickly how it's done so as you can see on my screen I've got desktop server opened up and I'm just going to create a new development site I'm going to use the blueprint called WordPress latest blueprint and we'll just call this WordPress latest and uh, go and create it and it just takes a few seconds to create here and then once it's created I'll have a brand new WordPress site I won't have to go through the quote unquote five minute installation as they used to call it or any type of installation as it's already created and now that it's done all I have to do is click on it and you'll see that here I have the latest hello world which we are familiar with and if I want to go, this is the part that a lot of people seem to be a little bit confused on. So I'm going to show you really quick how to log in. If you go to uh, WP Admin, which is, of course, the back end, there's two ways to log in. If you have Desktop Server Premium, you have a feature called Bypass Login. And you can just click on that, and it's going to log you in automatically. However, if you have only desktop server limited you do have to put in the username and password and if you don't know what those are then that can be a little bit problematic so what all these dynamic blueprints and the WordPress latest blueprints have the same username and password which is test admin and the password is password obviously once you've created your site and you've gone into it you're gonna want to go to users you're gonna want to add new and you're gonna create a new user Okay, and then we're gonna just we're just gonna give this a pretend password, uh, and I'll just confirm it. And I'm gonna set myself up as an administrator, and then I'm gonna add myself as a user. Okay, and then the next thing that I can do is I can log out, and I can log in as myself. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm then going to want to go into all my users and I'm going to want to delete this test admin user. The test admin is just there for you to use, but when you do ship this site to a live site, you're going to want to make sure that you have a secure password and a secure user. So it's as simple as that. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully this was helpful to you. And if you have any questions or comments, of course, we would welcome them. Thank you so much and have a great day.